today I'm going to be showing you how to plant up an autumn container with heathers. When this container matures in about a year's time, these lovely flowers will be amazing for drying and displaying in your own home. All heathers work perfectly for containers as long as you've got the right compost. The compost we're using is an ericaceous compost. It's free draining and has a nice organic fertiliser in it that will help feed your plants throughout the winter months and into next season before it needs repotting. We've gone for a nice shallow pot. Heather's are fairly shallow rooted, so don't need all that extra bottom within your container. You can start by either using broken up terracotta or what I've used is a nice little bit of mesh to stop all the soil from rushing out but will help to let a little bit of moisture through the bottom. Add a nice shallow layer of compost onto the bottom of your pot and then you're ready to start prepping your plants. You want to tease the root balls slightly, uh, not too much just because they don't like to have too much root disturbance. This will prevent the roots from spiralling within your container display. And then after you've done that, you can weed the top layer of the compost just so then you're not adding weed seeds into your nice container. Once this is done, you're ready to start placing your plants in your container, shimmying them about, making sure that you've got them trailing over the side or standing upright, however you see fit. You can then start back filling your container every so often making sure that you firm in the compost in and around the root balls, get it all nice and tight. You, you'll see you have a little lip left at the top. This is called your watering gap and can be used to um, put a little bit of decorative mulch if needed on your container. As soon as this is done, it's ready to be popped out into your garden, watered in and ready to be admired throughout the winter. In a year or so's time, this container will need potting on. This to prevent the root system getting too dense within your container, therefore causing problems in the future. Alternatively, these can be planted within your garden as long as you have the right soil conditions. So when your heather container has reached maturity and it's ready to be planted out into your garden, some of the flowers can be used to dry and display within your own home. And while you're at it, you can harvest flowers like hydrangeas, straw flowers, limonium from within your garden as well to dry and display within your home. Here I've got a nice mixture of stuff that I collected earlier that I'll show you how to prepare and get ready to dry. So preparing your flowers to hang up and dry is pretty simple. Um, you want to bunch no more than about 10 stems um, just to maximise the airflow through your bunches. So very simply, just with big bunches like this, very simply just snapping and placing them in a nice little bouquet almost. So bunching in no more than 10 stems, this just allows a good amount of airflow through your bunch and reduces the risk of anything getting mouldy, especially at the tip where the elastic band will go. Feel free to mix and match, they don't all have to be the same. Once you've got your completed bunch, you're then ready to cut to your desired length of stems and finish off with an elastic band tying this as tight as possible to ensure none of the stems fall out when drying. With the hydrangeas, these being lovely big blooms can just be dried, hung upside down on their own. They don't need bunching. With your finished bunch, it's simply just the case of elasticating it to whatever support you have in a nice dark room temperature room, uh, ideally maybe a cupboard under your stairs. Leave it like this for about two to three weeks when the stems have completely dried, like you can see here, and then they're ready to display within your home. So when putting together your dry flower arrangement for in your home, to make sure you can keep this colour, uh, it's really good to harvest the flowers at their prime 
I know it might seem like taking away the beauty from your garden, but if you can keep these colours in your home, it's definitely worth it. So to start with your arrangement, you want to start with what we call your bulk. So this is any of these lovely, big, colourful flowers as your main structure. And then your second is your infill, and that's all these nice, delicate flowers, and that's when we'll add in the heather as well. And then you finish with adding what I like to call the airy and fluffiness of your arrangement um, with any sort of nice seed head grasses, anything that you might have within your home. You can see in the bottom of the vase, I've got some loose heads. These are just flower heads that have dried and fallen off. Please do not waste these. They make amazing dried flower confetti or nice vase bottom arrangements. We're gonna start with some Achillea. Cutting this to any length you would like for the display. I quite like to get three pieces of this just because it is a big, impactful colour. I'm then going to go for some Solidago. Again, three pieces just dotted in and eventually this will all start to support itself. The amazing thing with dried flowers is that unlike fresh, if you don't like what you've done, take it straight out, start again. These, these aren't going to die on you anytime soon. Next, I'm just going to add a slightly different Achillea, but a nice purple Achillea to contrast with the yellow. So moving on to your infill flowers, these are all your nice um, straw flowers that we harvested earlier, Limonium, and I trialled some dahlias earlier in the year and these worked amazing. These are straw flowers is the common name or helichrysum as the Latin. These are limonium or the common name for these is status. And now moving on to our heather that we dried earlier. Now that we've got some nice dense flowers, we're just going to add a little bit of fluffiness to the arrangement with some nice dried grass seed heads. To preserve these beautiful colours within your arrangement, it's best to keep it out of direct sunlight on a shelf or cabinet would be ideal. And there you have it, a nice dried flower arrangement that you've harvested from your own garden along with your heather container that will last you all winter and your friends and family be very jealous of. <laughs> <laughs>